Well, hello there guys. So, this is a video response to uh, Codecraft's uh, latest video, um, which was a showcase of smart furnaces. Um, and in particular, I liked the, um, the one that had the glowstone lamps as the indicators. Except the design that he had um, was not one by one tileable, it was two tileable. So, you'd have one lamp here and one furnace here and you come across one, and then the block after it would be the lamp. But here, I have a design where it's um, it's one by one tileable, as you can see. So, got that. And that, and it resets. So, um, I'm going to show you how to build this. Um, so yeah, right. So, there's going to be your ground here, and also it's um, pretty much infinitely tileable as well. Um, it does need to be Peter put in there at one point, but anyway. So you put your furnaces down in here. Uh, the lapis can be any block, obviously, but um, that's just what I've got it as. Right, so there's your display, your button goes there, so it's at eye level as well, um, which is nice. So, that's what you're looking at from the outside, and um, then you come around the back. So, first off, torch behind the button, um, and then you can you have your pistons under the furnaces, so they're going to be butted, um, they're going to get the, um, the block update from the furnaces directly below them. Um, to, to bud them, to actually prepare them as a bud switch, you need to power them um, one up and one across. There's actually multiple ways you can power them, but this is just one of the ways. And so these are actually budded at the moment, as you can see, extends. And if I hit the button, it updates again and retracts. So that's our um, bud and reset mechanism. We just need to get the signal up to these, um, these glowstone lamps. So. There's your, um, you need to put blocks on the end of these. Uh, again, the lapis can be any block. Um, and if you build under it like, whoop, wait a minute, I've done this wrong. <laughs> Here we go. Block under, redstone torch on each of these blocks. And so when this, when this is extended, power will be put into this block. And then you can use a repeater to take it out of that block and you continue that for all of your ones that you're going to use. Um, next, you're going to power this block via those repeaters with redstone torch on top of all of these. So we've got it so far. Then another block on top of these and a redstone torch to invert the signal on the top and then that redstone torch will then power the block above. Um, now, if you're, if you're only going to do one of these, all you need to do is you place a block right there, right in front of, uh, right behind the, the lamp, and then a block there, and a dot of redstone, and that will power it. So if we... Oop. See, that turns on, and then we hit the button, and it resets. Um, but this, as it is, is not tileable because as soon as you attach more dots of redstone, it links up in the line, and then it does not power the four blocks around it. So, um, what we can do is we can also take power, as this torch is pushing up into this block, we can put redstone dots along the top, but again, it change, cuts off this, um, it interacts with this piece of redstone, so just a block on top. We'll keep this as a dot, and leave this run um, alone, and it won't affect anything. So, that's actually your, your two tileable sections, so you've got one with one dot and one with three dots across the top, uh, making a line of them, and then you just simply repeat the process. You need a dot of redstone inside there, and then continue this across, and that's, that's done there. So as you can see, turns on, turns on, Uh, like that, and then 
wait until they're done, you can collect your stuff, and just hit the reset button and it resets. Um, now, the easiest way, if you can have more than eight um, of these furnaces in a row, the easiest way is to simply just have a space with a repeater. Uh, sorry, not more than eight. Um, uh, 15 blocks, sorry. If you, so if you've got more than 15 um, of these furnaces in a row, you just need to leave a gap on the 16th one and then just continue a design out here. So you, I'll just build this quickly just to show you. Just doing the exact same thing. I like that. You want a block coming out from there, that's where your lamp's going to be. And then a block below it, dot of redstone. And then just fill in the, oh, fill in the gaps. And, um, and then a dot of redstone to bud it again. So now you can see that this one also works. We'll just go a couple of these over here, cooking. So you can see there's three lit with this gap where the repeater would be if you had more than 15 in a row. And you click it and it resets them all. Um, in this design, all you need, apart from the um, the starting block, which is the button with a with the redstone torch, is you need one, two, and on average, three pieces of redstone. You need one, two, three torches and one repeater with a sticky piston. Um, and the blocks can be anything from dirt to literally anything that's not transparent. Um, yeah, so there you have it. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you get to see this um, code crafted. And um, I hope you enjoy this solution. Thank you very much for watching. And I shall see you later. Thank you.